Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today I've got a little treat for you. Now, there's going to be no webcam for this one. You don't need to see my face, partially because I look awful and I'm running with all kinds of fluid, and also because we just want to see what's on the screen. We want to see proof of the claim that is in the title of this video, which is essentially, my God, my voice is so shot, which is essentially <laughs> the perfect parts for Vostroyans, Talon, Mordian, Steel Legion, Indigan Prefects, and Ventrillian what's his names I've forgotten the last part of their name but it's fine actually that's gonna be a really long title it'll probably be like perfect parts for converting Imperial girl that probably be easier won't it anyway so let's just get right into it let's just go straight in he says 45 seconds in so <laughs> you've wanted to make a Vostroyan firstborn army for ages ages and ages but you look at the models and you're like okay but they're resin they're not plastic they're not posable I don't want to, I, you know, I don't want old kits. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to convert them on my own. Well, Anvil Industries has just come out with a new line of dress, like parade style stuff for their regiments builder. And oh my God, it's like they actually watched that video I did a while back talking about how to convert Imperial Guard and what bits to get for stuff because they've nailed it. So you want Vostroyans, you want them bad, but you don't want these because they're they're, they're a bit dated, they're a bit old. Where'd you go? Well, you can go to Anvil, because now you can get these heads from them. Now, that is spot on. That is really nicely done. I look at that, then I look at that, absolutely nailed it. Because one of the things I like most about the Vostroyans is not just the fact they've got the, uh, the, like, the big bearskin hat, but I love the combination of that and the uh, gas mask. It's, it, it looks, it just looks gnarly, it looks really good. If you wanted to make the entire squad with those gas masks, that's an option as well. Because they've also done these. They're a little bit more modern, obviously. They're not as kind of ancient looking, they're not as World War II style. But honestly, these, <laughs> these two different head options are absolutely dead on perfect for Australians. Now, you'd have to get great leg coats from somewhere. You can get great leg coats from Anvil. By the way, it's worth pointing out, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. Anvil haven't paid me to make this or anything. It is literally just, I just saw that they'd released this stuff and I was looking through it and I was going, oh, that'd be good for Vostroyan. Oh, that'd be good for Talon. Oh, that'd be good for, oh my God, they're good for everything. This is amazing. So yeah, um, also for the chest, proper curious armor. Now I know that Vostroyans have got chain mail uh, more than full, like full on, like a full on curious, but I mean, some of them have actually, looking at it. Some of them do have a proper curus and not just um, chainmail, but that's pretty damn close. I think that's kind of as close as you're going to get without some definite green stuff work. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that is spot on. I'll put a link to the regiments builder in the description so you can have a look yourselves. But if you wanted to make a Australian army and you wanted to actually make it so that it was, you know, fully posable and stuff. I really don't think you can go wrong with these parts. I think they've really they've really nailed the look. And I'm assuming that this is vaguely what they're going for. Of course, there's probably other his historical sources for this kind of look, but yeah. The only one I'm not 100% sure about is Talon, right? Because Talon have got kind of a, a, a tricky look to nail down, I think. Um, especially the way that the, like the, the headdress, the, the scarves, whatever those are called, um, of a kind of shape to the body it'd be kind of tricky to get that effect but again Anvil do have something that's kind of close and they do have turbaned heads which I know it's not 100% spot on but I'll be honest that to me kind of it fits it fairly well um, you need to do a bit of green stuff work around the neck I think but apart from that no, the sculpts are just a lot better for a start. That's 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 a big part of it for me. The sculpts are a lot better on these because they're obviously more new. Um, I haven't been able to find a chest that specifically fits Talon, and legs is really difficult because of well the way that the models are. They've kind of got the kind of longer top, um, the longer shirt on, so it's a little bit tricky to find something that matches. But head wise, that's pretty close to me. That I think that fits pretty well for Talon. Mordian. Again, same deal as Vostroyan. They're cool models, they're a cool look, but they're pretty old now, they're pretty dated. But again, uh, again, you've kind of got multiple choices here. So, firstly, 
those. That is that's pretty damn close to Mordian. The style of cap is not exactly the same, but it is pretty damn close. Like if you saw an army equipped with those and also wearing those chests, like proper dress um, hussar tor torsos, that you, you'd know that was Mordian straight off the bat. You would recognize that as being Mordian pretty much straight away. Um, there's also a little bit, like a little bit sort of more extreme on the hat front is that. Now I know that's not specifically Mordian, but for some reason I look at that and then I look at those and again, the style isn't exactly the same, but that to me for some reason is still kind of recognizably Mordian, but I don't know whether that's just me. I definitely think you could get away with it. You could absolutely get away with it if you wanted to write your own thing about which particular um, there might be a particular subset of Mordian Iron Guard that have that kind of look to them. But out of the two, you know, you could absolutely stick those heads on Cadians even and get away with it, and it would look Mordian enough to be going along with. Steel Legion is a little bit similar to Talon in some ways. Um, Again, because of the way that the rebreathers on the masks uh, like blend with the, the 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 top half, like they've got a proper tube coming out of the the front of the mask, it's a little bit trickier to nail that look down completely. This is starting to sound like some sort of fashion video. Do you really nail the look? You need to you need to properly you need to apply the makeup here and here. Um, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but whilst that is a little tricky to pull off. I think those aren't too bad. Those are pretty close. I think without some, some green stuff work, again, without some green stuff work, that is pretty close. That is pretty damn close. And the way that those have been done, I think you absolutely could, with a little bit of messing about, actually get that look of the uh, the rebreather tubes going down into into the chest. You could achieve that with those. You might be able to do it with those. I'm assuming everyone had Lego as a kid, or at least a little bit of Lego. And those little tubes that come in Lego, you could probably use something like that to uh, to just glue onto the end there and take it down to the chest. But again, it might not be 100% spot on, but it's really, really close. And given that, again, these aren't plastic models, and you wanting to make it so that you can pose and you can change them about. Those are really, really close. For my money, again, if I saw someone who had an army that had those heads on and had like a short great coat, great coat legs, um, there's loads of places you can get those. Victoria Miniatures do them, so does Anvil. Um, I would look at that and I would immediately think Steel Legion. The style of helmet is really, really close. The gas mask is pretty much as close as you're going to get. Yeah, I, I think, again, it's a little bit more modern in a way, but it fits the feel, it fits the feel of the, of the army, and it matches it, even if it's not 100% the same as the Games Workshop models. And the, the couple of left field ones, which I actually really like that this is kind of doable without having to go out and spend loads of money on bit sites and whatever, as in like trying to get official Games Workshop parts for this. So Ventrillion Nobles, that is something from Age of Sigma um, or Warhammer Fantasy, whichever. Um, I can't remember which kit you get that head from, but that is not an easy bit to come across. It's not something you can just go out and just buy like 80 of them. So it's kind of neat that there's one that is very, very close now, which is that. So again, I mean, that's the Pickle Haub helmet. I should have been reading the names out as I... We'll recap briefly at the end. Um, but, again, that's pretty close. You're not going to get that plume on every single helmet, but you'll get it on, on the sergeant. And, again, the style of helmet is really, really close. You know, you might not have that one particular detail on every model, but you're getting that detail on the one that counts and the rest of the helmets because they match that one. It kind of makes it a lot, lot easier. And the rest of that is just standard Cadian by the look of it. Yeah, you've got a sword there, but as far as I can tell, that's a standard Cadian torso. Um, and standard legs, I 
thing. It's pretty much the head that's different. So that is a nice, easy way to just create an entirely new army. You know, colours do a lot to switch it up. So that's 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 one of the left field ones. The other one, I'm not 100% on. Because of the way that these have been drawn to begin with, they've obviously been drawn with this, uh, I believe it's a Mechanicum head um, from the start. So that's, in fact, that's what, a Mechanicum head that looks like Gene Steeler Cult legs. And I guess that's a Gene Steeler Cult torso as well, which actually you could get away with the Curus for that. It's a very similar look. Um, but if you don't want to go about getting the bodies from Gene Steeler, legs and bodies from Gene Steeler Cults, head from Mechanicum stuff, um, it's a li not quite the same. But again, that is pretty damn close. For my money, that is pretty damn close. The Salad Helmet. And, I mean, how much is that? It's like three quid for seven. That, to me, is a lot more reasonable than going out and trying to find all of these heads on, like, Bitsbox or eBay or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, that again, it's not 100% there. But if you have the curious, the curious, like, body, you had some short coat legs... And you had the Salat helmet. That to me would say Indigan Prefect. That would absolutely say Indigan Prefect to me. A lot easier to come by. A lot simpler to put together. Don't have to shop around, um, try hoping that the right bit shows up from the right, right website. I mean, it's just these are so close. These are so close to what they should be. I mean, the Vost the Vostroyan one is is so is so damn good. It's just, if you're someone who enjoys converting, if you're someone who wants to really make the army your own, if you want to do everything with poses and so on, and you want something like Australian or Mordian or Steel Legion, there's proper, full-on, really close options now. So what I'll do quickly is I'll just, and I'll timestamp this in the description as well. So if you're looking to build Australian, then you'll need great coat legs, which again you can get from Anvil Industries or you can get from all your miniatures. Um, you're probably best to take a look at those yourself and see which ones you prefer. One of them will require more work than the other. The Anvil Industries one will require a bit more work to get to work with standard um, Imperial Guard kits. Although, actually, that won't matter so much if you use the Curus. So for Vostroyans, um, Anvil Industries, it's bearskin hats, bearskin hats with visors, and curious torsos for talon if you want to try a bit of the turbaned heads see how those look then that is turban heads again on anvil mordian iron guard you want the parade caps or possibly the belgic shakos belgic belgic sh shakos yeah, i'll let you decide and the hussar torsos for steel legion Adrian Helmet Head with Gas Mask. Or Adrian Helmet with Gas Mask. I added the word head in for no reason. For Indigan Prefect, you want the Salad Helmets. And for Ventrillian Nobles, you want the Pickle Halb Helmet. So yeah, I mean, I've had stuff from Anvil before. I've had quite a lot of stuff from Anvil. Um, as, as I say, again, they're not paying me for this, although they probably should. Uh, <laughs> The stuff has always been really high quality. It's always had very little in the way of flashing, in the way of stuff needing to be cleaned up. At one point, I think, I can't remember which squad it was, but I put a squad together that had a good amount of Anvil stuff on it, and I totally forgot to wash it first. You need to, you know, generally need to wash resin before you paint it, because there can be residue that gets left on that means that when you paint it, the paint just doesn't set, or it like kind of runs and goes all weird. I totally forgot to do it. Sprayed them, painted them, and then a day later, I was like, oh, I never washed them. No, oh, it's fine. So yeah, I mean, I, for me, the quality of Anvil stuff is pretty good. The price isn't too bad either. It's obviously a lot better for me because I'm in the UK, so I don't know what it's like if you are in the EU or in the US even. Um, but yeah, there's there's some good stuff out there now. Slowly, we're starting to see more and more in the way of properly convertible parts that almost match what Games Workshop have already done, which <laughs> you could sit there and be cynical and go, well, why can't they get their own idea? Personally... I'm just happy that if I did want to start a more modern Vostroyan force, I could pick these helmets and it would look like a Vostroyan force. That's what I'm happy about. So yeah, I will put links to this stuff in the description. In fact, I'll just link all of it separately in the description. You can knock yourselves out. Um, 
and hopefully I don't get some sort of <laughs> blacklist thing or mark against me for linking to multiple things all over the shop. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for putting up with my terrible voice. I hope I've helped some of you aspiring Imperial Guard converters, kit bashers and modders to take the plunge and just start waging war in the, in the name of the Emperor. And if any of you buy this stuff, then let me know. Hell, let them know. <laughs> nice, uh, nice, <laughs> nice free 15 minute advert for them. Anyway, that is the new stuff from Anvil Industries. It is particularly relevant to Imperial Guard. It looks pretty damn good. It looks like it fits a lot of different stuff. It's good. Thank you very much for watching. There's the usual array of things to click on the screen. There's a Patreon button, there's a subscribe button, and there's two video buttons. Click them if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. It's your life. Do exactly as you like. And I will see you for the next video. Toodaloo.